Hi, I'm back with another journal with me video in my Midori A6 one day one page diary. And the last I stopped at was for June um, 9th and the 10th. And if you've been following my channel, I did mention that I try to use uh, stamp instead of paper collages because my diary is getting very, very bulky. But sometimes I did do some oopsie mistakes or something that I do not like, I will still cover it up with paper collages. And here I'm just going to stamp down the date with my shiny date stamp using the Sachihata ink pad. And I know that uh, this video has been recorded quite some time ago, but I didn't uh, have the time to do a voiceover. Normally, I'll just record the video way ahead of time, and later on, I'll find time to do the voiceover, then only I'll be able to upload it. I hope you guys don't mind that. And here, I'm stamping down the day. So it's a Thursday and a Friday. Next up, I'll be using this Cavalline Vintage Number Stamp. And I really love this stamp set. I want to use this number stamp to stamp down the date for 11th and 12th to do it as something like a background. So I'm using this very light blue color. Uh, Sachiata ink pad. Now I'm not happy with the 11. Um, I mean how it looks for the 11. I'm not too sure maybe it's because like uh, the new, two same numerical uh, made it a bit I don't know maybe it's just me I'm not sure. So I'm I'm not happy with how the 11 turned out so I'm gonna cover it up with a paper collage. I do love how the 12 turns out. And here I'm using this Heimia paper pad. Now I've used this uh, a couple of times before and I just noticed that this is actually a sticker paper. Yep, <laughs> so you can peel off the backing and stick it down but I didn't know that when I was doing this spread so I still use it as a normal paper. That's why I felt that this paper is like a bit thick. Maybe I thought, oh wow, it's very good quality paper, but it's actually a sticker paper. And I took out my whiteout to cover up a bit of the 11 because that um, vintage paper that I'm using is a bit small, so it might still be showing underneath. Yep. So before I put down this um, very cute notepad, I decided to change it to the uh, straight, uh, what do you call this? Vertical lines notepad instead. And I want to deco it for a bit, so I'm going to be putting down this floral sticker. As well as uh, I'm going to be stamping down the English uh, wording phrase stamp. Stem, yep. I I still don't know why I didn't notice that this was a sticker paper at that time. And I wanted to use a clip sticker to sh sort of give it a little uh, a. a illusion that a clip was clipping down this paper pad. And I think that sticker is absolutely cute. So 
I wanted to put a little bit of a background for that uh, vintage paper um, on top. So I used this Tokyo Antique stamp that I got to stamp down the stamp image with some, I think what do you call this, German dolls? Or I'm not sure. So it's a very cute stamp, so I decided to use that there. And here I'm using this, um, I can't remember, is it Li Hao paper stamp? I think it is, but I can't be too sure. But I'll link everything down below. So to form the stamp layering, I'm using this very gorgeous background stamp. Actually, you can't go wrong with the collage stamp. No matter how you stamp it, it'll still be gorgeous. Ah, it's from Amnesiac. It's not from Li Hao Paper. I really love this set. It has all this very gorgeous stamp that you can use it as background. And like I said before, you can't go wrong with um, collage stamp. And at first, I was thinking to put the uh, vintage tickets, but I changed my mind. So I, I changed my mind, and I want to use this English phrase stamp instead. And I think it turns out very gorgeous. It's just like a mini letter. And next up, I wanted to stamp down this number on top of this notepad. And it's perfect. So this stamp set is for a mole card. be putting this down using the paper clip sticker And next up, I wanted to put a vintage ticket there together with this um, stem like pattern or stem pattern washi tape. I choose that green color floral pattern because I think that goes very well with my theme. So here I'm deciding how I wanted to put down that that two elements and my whiteout sort of came off because the washi sort of stuck on a little bit and I pulled it off. I've forgotten, totally forgotten about the whiteout there. But now I'm done I can just re white out again. And now I'll be stamping down this uh, symbol stamp to make this vintage tickets more like it's used. And next, I wanted to use this um, postage mark to stamp on the vintage tickets. 
I think that's done for the collage. Then I'll be putting down a sticker. I, I think a glue sticker. Or oh, before that, I want to stand down this very cute uh, doily stand, which I recently got. And it will serve as a background, so I'm using this Sochi Hata light brown ink pad. And now I wanted to put down this girl sticker uh, as my last element for my spread. I just noticed that this video is a bit long, it's almost 25 minutes. Yep. I think because I have a lot of elements on this first spread. And I'm gonna stamp down this uh, sort of like a typewriter wording stamp. It says, uh, what did it say? If this is a stationary shop, oh, if there's a stationary shop, there is a way. Yep. <laughs> so here I'm just writing down my journal. And I'm done for this spread and I'll be starting on the 12th now <coughs> and I really like how this spread turns out it's actually pretty gorgeous and here I'm using this Tim Holtz Cur curiosity stand and I just noticed that it has some more on it so I stopped the video to put the cloth oil on the whole stem so it's a bit oily but I hope that it solved the mold problem <laughs> I'm putting down the curiosity um, sort of like a curiosity definition yep and then I'll be taking another stem from Liberty HK to form a part of the layering First, I wanted to use this receipt like Liberty HK stamp, but then I changed my mind. But to use this uh, first day of issue stamp instead. And next up, I wanted to put down this register postage. Um, what do you call this? Register postage sticker or postmark. It's actually water activated but most of the time I'll use my glue stick because I'm, I'm just very lazy to get out from my chair. And next up, I wanted to use this um, sort of like a sentences stamp that I got from Taobao. I actually quite like this stamp. I think I use it quite a lot to form background. All of the ink pads I use here are Sachihata's ink pad. And here I'm going through my sticker folder to look for the rub-on sticker so I decided on this brownish yellowish looking floral pattern
and I'm very happy at how this turned out. So now I'll be putting down my journal. Now since this was last week, uh, last month's video, so I haven't got my Twisby fountain pen yet. But after that, you'll be seeing me using my Twisby fountain pen a lot. Not a lot, I think all of it. So thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope to see you guys next time. Until then, take care and bye!